As the autumn days come upon us, it's nice to cuddle up inside with some favourite software for FreeBSD. So here's my November FreeBSD software pick 2024. First, we have OpenTunes. It was first released in 2016 and is a cross-platform 2D animator. And luckily for us, it's BSD licensed. So, what do you get? Well, you know, I'm not an animator, but we'll give it a quick go. Uh, with this first greeting little window, you can name your project or start a new project. And here's some of the variables that you can change. I have no idea what some of these are. I can guess what the drawings and scenes are, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you can change these before you start your project, or you can add to an existing project. You can specify what camera you want to use, what type of camera. There's quite a, a large uh, choice there. To me, it'll be just HD 1080, but you know, if uh, 4K or better is your thing, then great. And you can specify, you know, your width and resolution and stuff like that, frame rate. Uh, show that at startup and automatically save every 15 minutes, which is uh, a useful thing if you forget to do it manually, or you can open up uh, ones that you've worked on before, which uh, this example here, this is a rather neat little cartoon. <laughs> I didn't do this, obviously I've uh, downloaded this. You'll see my effort in a bit. And yes, so you can change various aspects of it and animate it like we're doing so, and then export it to whichever format you want. I have no idea how you would go about making such a complicated animation, but, you know, there are people who do. And this software, I think, would serve everything that you need. So the options for OpenTunes uh, available in the menus is extensive. I mean, really, I mean, obviously, you've got your basic uh, file manipulation, etc. But you've got lots of options here, which, do you know, frankly, it, it would take an entire video just to uh, go over them individually it's it's uh it's quite extensive so if you know what you're doing which you should do i mean if you're interested in this type of thing anyway you should know what you're doing or if you just want to learn how to animate then this is a fantastic uh, program and there's your preview and render and it opens up in a little individual window if you want to uh, look at it that way the final product as it were so yes about my effort well here we go and as you can see, I've just drawn a simple little ball and I want it to uh, go up from the left hand side at the top down to the uh, bottom right. And here it is. Look at that. Whee! Walt Disney should be afraid. I'm about to take over your empire. Uh, but it's just really step by step. I don't know if this is the best way to achieve it, but this is, you know, copying a flip book type of approach. But you can do obviously better than that. Uh, yeah, it's a great program. And I can see scope to do some great animation uh, titles with this. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go and see what you can make. Next, we've got G Predict, which is a satellite prediction program. So it's where it's going to be over your heads at any given time, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. So even if you live in the Arctic somewhere, you can actually... Uh, Predict when a satellite's going to be above you, which might be useful. I don't know. Lots of information here. Footprint, altitude, your azimuth, elevation, everything you uh, need. Say, for instance, you want to get some satellite information or some TV or radio, whichever you want to do. Ham radio, if that's, the, that's your game. Uh, version 2.2.1. It's a very specialised program, is this? Uh, beyond those who really need it. Uh, I can't think of a use that you would uh, need to go on it. Like the animation one we just looked at. Uh, you could perhaps learn animation or uh, mess around. But with this one, you really do need a specific reason to use it. But, I mean, that's good. That's what the software should do. It should um, it should scratch your itch. You can update your um, list of satellites if there is one available. I've just updated before I started filming, so it didn't pull any down. You can update it from a local file if you've got one that way. Uh, transponder data if you want to update that so really you know any new satellites that launch or any new services that come on you can uh, you can find them 
you can change the preferences for whereabouts in the world you are, what ground station you want to uh, copy. In this case, it's Lees and Bradford in, in Yorkshire in the UK. You can add ones if you want and change the one you've got. So, yeah. And as you can see, uh, on there, there's actually International Space Station is listed, which is uh, pretty cool, the ISS and various other satellites. So if you're into sort of like following stuff, even if, say, for instance, you're into following the International Space Station, you could do it on this, which is useful. I think that's it. I uh, might be missing something. Pretty neat. Like I say, it's specialised, but, you know, if you need it, you need it. Right, and next, uh, last but not least, we have Bovo, or Bovo, or Biovio. Whichever way you want to say it. And it's a simple uh, five in a row game. A little similar to uh, similar to Connect Four if you're in the UK, but that's obviously four in a row. But yes, yeah, so it's uh, the objective is to get five circles or five crosses, whichever you've been given uh, in a row, either diagonally, horizontally or uh, vertically, before your opponent to win the game. And you can have hints and uh, change some settings, like, for instance, uh, animation. Uh, you can theme, which is pretty good. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So, yeah, I mean, you're not going to get a ton of options on this because, of, really, it's just a simple game. But it's very well done, and I do like it. It's a, a KDE-based game. And, like I say, you can go in any direction, uh, anywhere, and, and uh, you could potentially fill up the entire board if you want. So I'm playing against AI here, obviously, so I don't, I don't expect to win. Uh, I'm uh, crosses, and the AI is doing a great job in uh, in beating me. I'm goosed. There you go. Got that one in? Uh, yeah, look at that lot. So, get five in a row, vertically, horizontally, or, uh, or diagonally. I forgot what the word then. You can change the difficulty level, whether or not the uh, the AI is uh, going to let you win or not. And which I'm just going to change it to, um, oh, I don't know, uh, ridiculously easy. So even I could win this. Change the level. And we start a new game. There we go. So let's have a try now. So then I cross, 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 and yay, I won. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, we'll change it back to uh, normal, as it was, and we'll try again. So I uh, cross, is it going to, look at that lot, copied what I was doing. So, yeah, I'm just going to try again, holy moly. A bit more difficult this one. Uh, ooh, look at that. Not gonna get me this time. Oh, you're gonna do it, aren't you? <sighs> oh well. But that's the essence of the game. It's uh it's very addictive. It's very simple but very addictive, and I like it. Um brings me back to a child with a pen and piece of paper. Anyway, that's Bovo. Uh, give it a try. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is just like three that I could find for November. Hopefully it will uh, tickle your fancy, uh, scratch your itch, and all them other euphemisms. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.